So, I received this uh, tent from uh, Collins Outdoors. I received it uh, two days ago and today I finally found some time to, uh, to put it up. And the tent is a Cloud Peak 2 from Nature Hike. You can see the logo here. And I managed to test it this afternoon and try and cook some hot chocolate in it. It was not a very elaborate test, but honestly, it's very, very livable. Uh, you have very vertical sides um, on the outer tent and also on the inner tent. So when you're inside, even if your feet or head touches the the inner tent you uh, you don't really push against it to touch the outer tent with the inner tent so there's little risk of having um, a leak so that's really really nice uh, I saw on the internet that people are saying that it's a little bit difficult to put up the first time uh, honestly it was pretty easy but maybe because I watched those videos and saw what the problems other people had. Uh, for instance, to put the hat there, to put it correctly on. And indeed there is uh, several ways to put it on that appears to correct, but there is one trick is to, if you see, and it's also in the, inst in the instructions, it's also indicated, but not very clearly. Um, there is two stitchings one, I'll see if I can show you one here. And then there is no stitching here, but there is a stitching here. So this forms a V. There and there. That stitching, that, that V, big V, should be to what I call the behind of the tent. So where there's no logo. It's one of the wide sides there's six sides and there is uh, so so this should be from furthest from the entrances that the, the the top end of this inverse V I'm not sure I ex managed to explain that very well but I hope it will help somebody uh, apart from that there's only one minor minor thing to figure out that's the um, uh, the footprint uh, since the inner tent is not exactly rectangular it's actually wider on one side than uh, in one end than the other so yeah and the footprint is the same so you just have to make sure that the inner tent and the footprint uh, correspond and this is not extremely difficult but just uh, being careful the first time you put it up I plan to keep the footprint and the inner tent joined together so that this will be fixed uh, from now on because they will always be put up together. We will see whether I stick with that plan, um, but that's the idea for now. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, just uh, so here you see we, we made, uh, I made some hot chocolate with children and we used, uh, I also bought a, a new Fire Mabel uh, a quick uh, cooker thing. It, it's actually very nice. And it's very nice for cooking inside the tent because there's no flames uh, that come to, uh, out on the sides. It's, it stays very um, manageable, even with small kids around. Um, yeah, so uh, as everybody says on the internet, the hat is, is sort of difficult to get to be tight enough and so on. And this is maybe something to do something about. And as I said, the orientation can be a little bit tricky to get. So what I plan to do is I plan to here on the, what I would call the front side, um, I plan to fix the hat permanently here uh, with, a, with some small uh, string and here. So these two places here, that should still allow me to put on the, um, put up the tent and flip away the hat so I can put in the the, um, uh, the aluminium poles 
and then flip back the hat when I when I want to put up the tent. So that that's at least how I plan it. So that's uh, what we might call a little first impressions. Uh, we had a little bit of rain today, uh, not a lot, but uh, the tent has absolutely not uh, let any rain in. But again, it's not really a proper test. It was a few drops. So I'm going to leave it up for a few days and then we'll see. Uh, it's in the middle of the winter here, so we actually do get some rain. 